And finally, we are underway. Caliber Tech taking on JMK for a spot in Grands. And then we'll go PS2 for game one. Okay. A little bit of a slow start as Calvertech takes control of the battlefield early. Oh, good. Holy water into side trash, but it's not quite enough to get the kill. Snake just a little too heavy for that at 100%. Especially with good DI on JMK's part. Calvertech connecting with that axe. And look at this lead he has already, almost 100%, but JMK staying alive. So he has a chance to battle his way back into this first stock. Calvertech does finally close out that first stock, putting JMK on the back foot already. Racking up some nice extra credit right now. Already has JMK over 60% on the second stock. And look at that combo. Sliding, hitting JMK into his cross. Playing a little bit of uh, advanced trigonometry here with JMK. And Caliber Tech will secure a three to one stock lead. Just absolutely dominating. JMK right now. Caliber Tech still holding on to the first stock as JMK can't even take that away from him right now. As it looks like Caliber Tech is going to absolutely cruise to a game one win, and he gets the Holy Water and Side Smash at the ledge. And at that percent, this time it is enough for Caliber Tech to take the kill. JMK uh, not DIing properly. And Caliber Tech takes a one game lead and does it very quickly at that and gets a three stock victory. So, very dominant performance to start off this set by Caliber Tech. And I'm curious as to how JMK is going to bounce back from that because, again, he just got absolutely dominated in game one. Like, just completely outclassed. Okay, we'll stick with Snake heading into game two. And they will be going Battlefield. Interesting choice, though. It does set up some opportunities for JMK to uh, kill off the top with some grenade combos. However, it also gives Caliber Tech a little bit of an easier path to get an up special kill as well. JMK, careful man, already 
looked like he was about to SD. And look at this, Calvertech just chasing JMK to the top platform with a couple up airs, and he's at a quick 40%. Calvertech just absolutely has JMK's number right now. Look at that, the down B into up special off the top. Caliber Tech doing exactly what I just described. And he takes the one stock lead yet again. JMK just looks totally lost right now. Caliber Tech just keeping up constant pressure. JMK can't seem to do anything about it. attack from JMK Caliber Tech. Able to avoid that Nikita as he hangs onto this first stock at 143%. JMK trying to make his way back into this, but Caliber Tech just too strong for him. Just completely overwhelming JMK at every opportunity. He just outplayed JMK again, getting past that Nikita missile. Caliber Tech should absolutely be dead to rights, and JMK is going to take him down with a suicide play with that C4. So it's a small victory for JMK, but in the end, he's still down an entire stock. JMK trying his best to fight back. He actually has an opportunity here. As on this stock, he's gone on a really great run with Calibre Tech over 100%. Maybe this is what JMK needed. He's coming to form seemingly out of nowhere as he gets that down smash and the mortar at the ledge. And he takes Calibre Tech down to his final stock and they are pretty much even now. As JMK has done an excellent job to bring this back. Calibre Tech trying to ladder combo JMK to the top of the map. He is gonna drop it. JMK has another lease on life here, but he's at 75% as Calibre Tech looks to close this out now, going on a big run of his own. Tag tries to combo the annuity up tilt. Caliber Tech smacks him down. JMK on his last legs here. Can he pull this off? Is that 141% Caliber Tech getting the holy water? And that's going to be game. Caliber Tech takes game number two. Put that holy water into side smash. Confirm. And JMK now facing elimination. Down two games to none. Has to pull off a reverse sweep. Based off these first two games, I seriously doubt that he's going to be able to get it done, but never say never. A little bit of a wait as we get set up for game three. The 
we'll see final destination and this could be JMK's final destination again with Calvertech up two games to nine looking to pull off a sweep and get a match against Cortex a rematch excuse me And Caliber Tech will switch to Shulk. So an interesting change here, but up two games to none, it's a good time to get warmed up on a character he might want to use in a potential rematch against Cortex. And look at this aggression using jump to deliver a nice back air and a solid strike for Caliber Tech. But JMK is matching him kind of blow for blow. I say that though, and Calvertech suddenly with a 50% lead now using shield to avoid uh, getting bounced around by these grenades. And a good side smash taking the first stock off of JMK. So again, another lead for Calvertech early. Is that 100% though? JMK can definitely turn the tables a little bit sooner than previously, and JMK does do just that, evening things up two stocks apiece, but a 56% lead for Caliber Tech is nothing to sneeze at. Caliber Tech tries to set up another side smash, but JMK gonna be able to space it out for now. Caliber Tech switching to speed to apply a little bit more pressure, get backslash, but it's gonna get countered. JMK having patience in the shield, and throwing out a mortar as well. Uh, Caliber Tech switching the shield before going to Smash. And Smash is going to get him that kill. And now Caliber Tech playing a little bit of getaway with his jump stance. And he's doing a lot of stance dancing. JMK good up tilt, but it's not quite enough to get the kill. And Caliber Tech has swapped to Buster to try and rack up a little bit early percent here. But he doesn't get too much out of the stance. Does get JMK up to 30, though. Good counter. Well played by Caliber Tech. Now he may have a decisive lead. JMK, a little bit of interesting interaction at the ledge, but he does manage to spike Caliber Tech and he's not able to make it back. So JMK has a sliver of hope here. They're both kind of even going down the stretch here on this final stock. Caliber Tech goes for the counter, but he's facing the wrong way. So JMK avoids a massive amount of damage. Caliber switching to Buster. Trying to build on this lead that he already has, but JMK playing this really well. Grabbing the forward throw, sets up a chance for a wall of mortars. Caliber Tech kind of trapped in this situation at the ledge. He may go down 120%. He is going to get caught by the Nikita. And JMK forces game four. So signs of life for JMK and maybe Caliber Tech getting a little too cocky, a little too aggressive by switching to Shulk in this situation when he had two wins with Richter. But at the same time, I, I feel like he's looking ahead to Cortex, and I think he probably feels like uh, Shulk's going to be a really good matchup against Pac-Man and Banjo and a potential snake. And, you know, he has that cushion. He had that two-game lead, so why not try it? And he's still, he's still got a little bit of a cushion here. He's got two more games to fall back on. But certainly he does not want to give momentum to JMK and give him hope for a rear sweep. The question is, will Caliber Tech stick with Shulk or not? It's his stage choice. And we will see Final Destination again. And JMK will stick with Snake. And Caliber feeling confident. I mean, he did he did almost win that game with a sort of sloppy Shulk performance. He did all so. We have game number four, and we get uh, Gower Plains uh, final destination. And uh, really good track here. God, I love Xenoblade music. I hope Rex is uh, 
character in the second DLC wave. Albert's at already up to 100%, so a really poor start on his home turf is JMK. Really uh, taking him to task right now, and a good up tilt, forcing that air dodge with the Nikita, and then the presence of mind to get that up tilt. So great play from JMK. As he is making a case for a reverse sweep right now. He's up one stock in this fourth game, so already on track to force game five. Caliber Tech needs to tighten things up and figure out a strategy here because JMK seems to have figured out how to play against Shulk. Oh my goodness, pinball right there as JMK uses a grenade to set up a mortar hit and Caliber Tech 115%. He has not landed a single hit since going down to his second stock. JMK just completely in control right now. Look at that, the mortar. JMK about to get a perfect stock, but Calvary Tech comes in with that backslash, and he's going to prevent the perfect stock. Oh, my goodness, that jump. Bailing Calvary Tech out so much, but he's at 155% on his second stock. The lead for JMK is absolutely massive right now. Shield just ran out. Down throw, up tilt. JMK taking out the trash right now. Calvary Tech down to his final stock, and JMK in route to a decisive game five. Caliber Tech trying desperately to get back into this game. He's trying to wall out JMK here at the ledge, making great use of Monado speed, but JMK refusing to die right now. And this series is completely shifting in favor of JMK right now. And uh, it definitely think that Caliber Tech needs to go back to what was working before because Shulk is certainly not doing it for him. Never say never though. Caliber Tech gets one step closer to coming back in this game, takes that first stock off JMK, but he's already at 60% on his final life. So this is going to be an absolutely insane effort to come back. Has Caliber Tech over 100 now. This could be it in game number four. JMK just looking for the killing blow. Up tilt, not quite going to do it because Caliber Tech has his shield on, but with shield on, you barely do any damage. So Caliber Tech obviously sacrificing offense for impeccable defense. JMK. Woo! JMK gives Caliber Tech a chance here. He air dodges away from the ledge. And Caliber Tech, even though he's at 122% and counting, is certainly still alive in this game. They are tied up with one stock apiece. And you can never say never because Caliber Tech can definitely survive here with shield. But the percent continues to rack up. Even though he's taking less damage and less knockback, it still has an effect. And right now at 150%, Caliber Tech has to play perfect because any grenade getting tossed at him, any mortar, any smash attack, will finish him off. Even a C4 that just barely clips him, should get the job done. So JMK completely in the driver's seat right now, but Calvary Tech were refusing to die. Oh, he's gonna get punished for that whiff. And that's the game. JMK has forced a decisive game five. And the battle rages on as Calvary Tech just can't get it done with Shulk. And I have to imagine that he's gonna wanna switch back to Richter because Shulk just straight up isn't working for him. It almost worked in game three, where it came down to a last hit situation. But in game four, it definitely did not work out. Caliber Tech needs to make a decision here, and I imagine it's going to be an easy one to go back to Richter because he won two games with it.
Thank you for the heads up. Uh, I'm not sure why that would be. go the decisive game five both these guys trying to get a rematch with cortex caliber tech swapping to simon so not even playing richter JMK quickly up to 60%. And Calvertech definitely looks way stronger on the Belmonts. Now, Richter and Simon are pretty much exactly the same, except for one small gameplay difference with the Holy Water. For Simon, it's treated as uh, fire damage. And for Richter, it's, uh, I believe it's just like an energy projectile. I'm not sure. I know it's I know it's a little bit different damage type, but it doesn't really matter in this matchup. JMK managing to turn things around though. That first stock takes the lead, but he's at 120%, so Caliber Tech should be able to find a quick reset here. Good drop down forward there, but Calvertech's still not finding this kill. JMK with really good DI. Staying alive. Hanging on, looking for extra credit, finally finding some. And now he's just bouncing Calvertech around, and Calvertech suddenly taking up over 60%, just like that. Ooh, Calvertech getting bounced around some more. JMK! Starting to run away with game five and Caliber Tech in dire straits right now. Already closing in on 100% on the second stock. And he just seems to be completely rattled all of a sudden when he came out absolutely swinging at the start of this game. And now it's suddenly all JMK. Caliber Tech trying desperately to get to grand finals. And it's all falling apart for him right now. He had a 2-0 series lead. He had the percent lead. Starting off this game, he was way in the lead. And JMK has just completely taken control. Now at three stocks to one. Caliber Tech on his last life, potentially, of the tournament. Can he bring this back? Or will it be JMK pulling off the impossible reverse sweep? Caliber Tech dropped down forward there. This time, it does manage to take JMK down. And now he's looking for the comeback, but JMK with that throw, setting up for a wall of mortars. Caliber Tech getting back on stage safely, but look at this damage output from JMK. He's just completely running away with it. Caliber Tech looks finished. He's just gonna, he's in need of some insane plays right now. And a bad capitalization off of that holy water. This time, he does get the side smash. Still not enough to find the kill, but Calgary Tech showing some signs of life finally. Still playing like he's a little bit rattled though. Good up air. Holy water, and he doesn't capitalize again. Calgary Tech making a huge mental error. He had every opportunity there to get that kill, and he just completely failed to capitalize. And the longer JMK survives, the more extra credit he's racking up. He's building this lead slowly but surely. Caliber Tech cannot find this kill. The up air is just not enough kill power on them. JMK refusing to die at 169%. And the war of attrition going in JMK's favor as he continues to just survive. And Caliber Tech, it's 
completely fallen apart. The train has gone off the rails. JMK has him over 100% now. Calibertech was making a run, making a comeback, but he made a huge error, not getting a kill when he had a chance at about 60%. And finally, he takes that stock, but at 130%, there is certainly no way he's getting back into this. JMK has some momentum. Up smash, down smash. JMK smashes his way straight into grand finals with a reverse sweep over Calibertech. And you've got to wonder, what was Calibertech thinking up 2-0 with two wins on Richter, and he swapped to Shulk, and he lost both those games after he swapped to Shulk. He was up 2-0 in this set, and he lost the lead by switching characters. And in game five, he just fell apart.